Lee, um, I've received at least a thousand reviews, not reviews, requests about making a video about the build quality of this thing. Uh, this is the HP Omen 15. Oh, this is a lot of requests, man. Jeez. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Um, I received one request. It was a comment. I didn't request a video either. Uh, but who cares? I'm just gonna do it. So, first thing, uh, let me get my script out. Alright, so. People are concerned about the lead tracks on this time. How much did you spend on that? I was lucky enough to get it with the student discount, so I spent about a thousand GBP. What about the normal price? Ah, uh, the normal price, actually, this goes for 1,200 uh, Great wow, British so pounds. quite a hefty amount. Then. It's a hefty amount, but you do get a Ryzen 7 4800H and uh, 1660 Ti for your unlimited 180p gaming settings at higher settings. Sounds great, but before you carry on, so you spent what a thousand on a laptop. Yeah. But you cannot afford paper to write your script. No, I'm poor. So that's where all the money went to. Then. This is where all of my finances go. Yeah, yeah. This, this, is this. Is it worth thing. it? Yes. Because now I can't go back to the normal world. I only have to live in this 144 hertz refresh rate screen. Yeah. This magnificent thing is um, has a color gamut of 97% of sRGB, so pretty color accurate. If you're into photo editing, video editing, or if you just want to make YouTube videos, this is it's pretty good stuff. The refresh rate is great. Brightness goes up to 300 nits for your standard brightness. Golden so, stuff. Just give me a comparison. What for an average laptop, you know, the run off the mill ones that would cost around 400, 500. How yeah. much nits will that be? So if you go for a high performance laptop that is quite cheap, then you'll get screens with average uh, brightness of 250 nits, which is obviously not as high, and a color gamut that is definitely not on um, par with this one. So you get more like 60, maybe even less. Uh, example is the IdeaPad 5, I think. The Idea so just 5. for the people who are not necessarily as technical as you are, the nits is basically just the amount of brightness that one laptop can go up to, and it's just a yes. measurement. Really. It, it's just an SSS which you need is you need the brightness okay. really for the screen. Yeah. Yes. Since we're on the screen, let's talk about the lid, or yes. maybe before that, let's talk about the materials because the lid okay. here is made of plastic. Correct. Pardon. It's pretty niche plastic. Yeah? Yep. We got a nice diamond at the top, or in the middle. Very reflective material. Um, got the omen line here. Um, so, as you can see, this is not exactly a gamer -y look, not too much, it's very quiet, stealth if you want. Um, so yes, the lid is made of plastic, and you get some screen text, that I showed here. Oh. And a lot of people are concerned about the ridge that you're missing here, right? So if you can see here, we are missing some ridges. Yep. And therefore, when you close the laptop, you actually get this gap here. And people are concerned when you press the laptop, this gap might, you know, cause damage to the screen. Here's my take on it. Normally laptops have ridges, right? Yeah. So the worst that can happen is you press the laptop here. That's fine. It's not going to put too much strain on the hinges. Because uh, they're pretty far away from the system. What is of concern to people is when you close the laptop and you press in the middle. Because there, you get some serious flex. Here's the take. Most laptops also have bridges, but they don't have anything supporting it in the middle. So I don't see why any other laptop should not be able to do the same thing, unless they're metal. But you get what you pay for, right? Bro, I spent a fortune on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so. Well, I've got to say, that aesthetically, it doesn't look bad. I know, I mean, this, if, if, you, if you just glance at it, this actually looks pretty metallic to me. Yeah, it doesn't look like as sleek as something like a MacBook, but it's definitely quite, you know... What you trying to say? <laughs> I'm a fan of Macs. Alright, uh, okay, okay. Yes, a lot of people were concerned the one comment. Was concerned about the sharp corners, and how do I prove this to you? Because while they are sharp, they will not cut into your finger. Let me just scratch my hand with this. Let me get a better angle, because I will go. Tell. Got some crutches. Do, do it again. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, the other hand goes, let's see the script, got some scratches, but it will never be able to actually cut into your hand. 
Let me let me get a pen or something to show you scratches. So I have a pristine lead here. I'm gonna just scratch it a bit. I'll use that as a witness to the fact that this is not as sharp as people make it to be but it can be uncomfortable if you use the laptop like this right now the thing is you know for a gaming laptop this is not necessarily the most well-known brand is it you have other things like razer alienware so what's the benefit of this compared to the other bro this is an hp only it, it's, it's a normal laptop then would you buy this instead of the others they're, they're more right. like pronounced than the actual they do but if you are a gamer and you happen to be a student and you are poor, relative, well, no, just, just poor, uh, then this is a very good option if you want some decent performance out of the laptop. In fact, this is one of the best Ryzen 7 4800H laptops you can get. Cinebench performance is just savage. If you use Ryzen Control, you get even better performance. But I'm not gonna make a video about performance this time. This is just about build quality. Okay. Well, this is what the people have requested. <laughs> Comment has requested. It wasn't even a video. I even offered the video. They didn't say anything. Exhaust vents. Now, people have been going crazy about thermals. This laptop has savage thermal performance. They have something called Tempest cooling. And this is simply getting a ton of air in and a ton of air out. This keeps the CPU and GPU cool. You see massive intake vents, but if you look carefully, maybe I can show you better if I turned on the RGB keyboard here. Um, okay, it's turned on. This actually lights up. Hey! RGB vents. Okay, um, so you can see here the, the vent itself is open. The. What are they called? What are they called? Don't know, mate. This is your review. Right. Um, I don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the heat pipes, that's what I call it, yeah. The copper heat pipes are exposed, the other vent is exposed, but the bit in the middle here is not. So don't be deceived too much, but if you consider, these parts here are exposed, this three are exposed, and this is exposed. This is far better than anything like the budget laptop, like the Asus A15. The laptop, while very good in value, has terrible thermal performance. How much better in value is it? Okay, let me put it this way. It's really good. Probably cheaper than this. Well, if you want to value, I think maybe you should be looking more at stuff like the Acer Nitro 5, maybe? Okay. The colors, color quality is not as good, but if you're just into gaming, you get a 1650 either TI or non TI version with a 4600H Ryzen 5 which is still a very good laptop, still get hyper threading and 6 cores, you know and yeah, yeah, I think the new Ryzen series is just revolutionary in that sense yeah. but the thing is, with um, I, I don't watch too many of these uh, technical videos right but in some of the reviews I've seen yeah the reviewer doesn't really blink much if at all and you're blinking quite frequently here maybe it's something you want to okay. change in the future maybe if I'll get one like in this video, I'll try not to blink for the next 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, now it's it's not possible for me to not blink. I would have to edit every blinking out of the video, which would take me longer than the video would take to get a million views. I know it takes forever. Whatever. Let's just, let's just move on. Trackpad, let's talk about the trackpad. Because I talked about, no, I talked, I, did, I forgot to talk about the material, didn't I? I said this, this thing here is plastic. But the body of the laptop, so the keyboard there, is made of metal. That's why it feels sharp. Feels cold to the touch whenever you use it. And the bottom panel here is, although it looks metal, it's actually plastic. Yeah, omen. So, keyboard deck is metal. Trackpad is plastic. Okay, so it's a metal plastic fiber thing. Uh, pretty much. Keys are not metal, the keys are also plastic. You get the RGB, it's a 4 zone RGB. You can customize the colors as much as you want, but they are static. They do not fit them or anything like that. How comfortable do keys feel? Because I mean, that's quite a big factor for a lot of people. Yeah, and actually the keys feel pretty good. Now, I am 
I rather slow typer. Right. Um, but you know, in I've seen people on uh, on other reviews easily get to 100, 120. Can you um, just tap a few keys to give the noise of the key? It is actually quite satisfying, though. but these are, these are just keyboards. The main thing here is actually some people will be disappointed by the lack of a number file. But the reason why they got rid of it is because you have an entire section just dedicated for arrow keys. Right. Let me just remove the... Is that for gaming? Sort of this thing. is mainly for gaming purposes, yes. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you can afford like a 1,200 pound laptop, you can afford to get another Bluetooth keyboard. Exactly, just get a... Uh, Puny Bluetooth, let me just find the Bluetooth keyboard. This bad boy here costs about 20 quid. It is curvy because some people don't write like this, but write like this. But the problem is with that keyboard. It's shit, yeah, I know. It's more so, it also doesn't have a number pad. <laughs> <laughs> so you might have to get something slightly different. If you how, how about this one? How about this one? You put the thing like this and you have the numbers here. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Reach them with your hand. Yeah. Maybe just way. invest in a better keyboard on this Why? Is that everything? Oh, do you have any questions about the laptop? Well, I mean, in, t in terms of durability. Yes. Would you be risking to throw a laptop off our current floor? Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Would you throw your computer out of this building? Oh, well, if you do yours, I'll, I'll do mine. How about you do your first? If he survives, I'll do one. I'm joking. I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not doing that. But the viewers want to see a durability test. No, not that cracks, all right? And if I bust this computer, I have nothing else to talk about. I'll be just a boring guy without a laptop. And I need this laptop. Because yes, you can run simulations on this. Pretty good. Yeah, that's not what you run most of the time, is it? Right. What's your main purpose for this high-tech laptop? To never been slowed down for the next five to ten years. Do you reckon it'll last that long? In terms of hardware, like and software. Well, it depends. If I keep doing testing on it, like my hand thing, probably not. But if I keep it like a normal person would, taking care of it, taking it to store. Well, I mean, in terms of hardware, comparing upgrades. Um, right. The, current, you know. the Ryzen Seven, the four thousand series, is a revolutionary chip, as I said before. So it will last you a stupidly long time. Hopefully. And you can get your name proof certification on this sure sure buy one of these laptops now it will last you for a very long time to come note how i didn't specify the time uh, but the nvidia graphic card is not the best one in line with the ryzen 4000 series so i get a 1660 ti here with the with the ryzen 4000 series you only get um, up to uh, an rtx 2060 and with the advent of the new 3000 series card, when they'll come to laptops, you'll probably want to sort of, you know, wait for that. But if you're in need of a laptop and you want something that performs great at 180p, 180? What? 1080p. That's pretty, uh, pretty outdated. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know. No who, who, who's laptops. never played 180p laptop? Like, come, come. Who, who has never played Mario at 180p? So, yes, the, the screen panel is a 1080p panel, so. Gaming on this thing will be pretty good. But you gamed on this before, haven't you? So you, you, to share a little bit of experience, how is it in terms of like, can you run a max performance? You can, obviously you can. What I do here is I enable Turbo Boost. Right. Sorry, now, I disable But just to elaborate, the game that you run is actually requires quite a lot of the hardware, doesn't it? Right, I'm not a massive gamer. The only game I'm playing at the moment is called Genshin Impact. You might have heard of it. Everyone might have heard of it, maybe no one plays it, but it's a wonderful game, I suggest playing it. This is not a sponsored video. Um, but yeah, uh, that is not a particularly demanding game. You can run, no, because it's capped at 60 FPS. And even at highest setting, so max setting, the GPU drains maybe 20 watts. No, this is a lie. It will drain a bit more watts, but the usage itself is between 20 and 30%, which is, you know, just laughable. It's not too demanding of a game. So in terms of graphics and everything, you run everything on max output. Um, yes, stuff like um, you can run AAA games in between. You know what? I will not give you any specific FPS because I haven't run the test myself. But if you go to Jarrod's Tech, 
and now the YouTube channel. My best friend doesn't know me. Um, yeah, he runs uh, these benchmarks all the time, and he will be able to tell you a lot more about this software. I'm sure he will appreciate the shout out from a person who has about 20 subscribers. I expect something back, all right? <laughs> a bit of collab, yes. <laughs> a collab, yes. I'll make him send me laptops for free and then make him pay for the both of the back as well. But yeah, is this the blue screen of death? No, no, okay. Just me putting some random things on. Yes. Um, yeah, so this is the laptop. Now, one more thing that I just want to because I, I, I hear that a lot of gaming laptops have a very loud fan when you run at maximum output. Can you just give a, a sort of, you know, trial run how loud this one becomes? Right. Let, let me give you let me give you a an example on it. Oh. Let's run our home and control center, which obviously tells you a lot of stuff. Managing cables, listening for footsteps, because that's what computers do. Right. Mind you, this is a gaming laptop and all gaming laptops are stupidly loud. So but if this you this is only a max output though, isn't it? It's not like Run this loud no. In fact, I keep my laptop uh, without the turbo boost on. So instead of boosting to 4.2 gigahertz, it will remain at 2.8 on all eight boards. Right. This keeps the temperature down, mm -hmm. especially if you're in a environment where the temperature is cold. Pretty much all the time. Welcome now, to the at that level output, without the fan being loud at all, if, if, if it's there at all, what can you actually run on it? Uh, everything. Just the it, it's it, again stupidly powerful. The new Ryzen CPUs are stupidly powerful. And then now just maybe give a demonstration of what I'll give a demonstration of what the fans sound like. So you may want to get a bit closer. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to have headphones on when you game, yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll get some testing equipment to show you how much air I get out. And also, just a warning for, you know, all headphone users to turn the volume down. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's get closer and see how much this thing is pulling. I, I have my super scientific method here of getting a piece of paper. Oh wow, I have to feel the air from here. Letting it bounce. This is not great, is it? I'll take a longer strip. Straight line. This is this is a shit example. What am I talking about? It's not as loud as I imagined it to be. Allow me. I thought it'd be louder than this. See if I can kill something now. Hey, there it is. It's quite cold. Yeah, the laptop runs cool most of the time. Yeah. So I'm just putting it on max. Huh? I mean, I can show you some data on the laptop. Yeah, I think. Um, here, some stuff. So I reach a maximum 2.8 gigahertz, but the computer doesn't need to go that high at the moment, so it's not using it that much. If right. you wanna enable Turbo Boost, I mean normally it is enabled, I just disabled it because I don't really need it until I edit videos. Right. Um, if you wanna do that, you go into a power so this plant. is the fan sort of noise at maximum output? Right? This is the maximum output at the moment, yes. So, because I'm talking right now, it doesn't feel like I'm talking too much, does it? No, this is this is the maximum fan. And, you know, it, it is bearable, but if you're in a dark room playing with your game, then you can definitely hear it even at 50%. Okay. But if you keep it on comfort mode, right. with the turbo boot disabled, you can go into a library and never bother anyone. Ever. So, you know, if you're interested in a silent laptop, this is also an option. That's good to know. Anything else uh, that you want to specify for the laptop? Um, if you do manage to get one, because they're pretty much not available anymore, people have snatched these so far. Let's get rid of the instrumentation. There is a very high demand for these 4000 series laptops. And uh, I've been lucky enough to get it on the day that they offered it. Which is in this kind of world. Telling everyone, keep an eye out. If it's available, get it. Yeah, yeah. If it's available, get it. If you want to wait for the new 11th gen Intel CPUs, do that. Mm -hmm. um, but for the amount of how you get for the efficiency because Ryzen laptops are known to get or oh, the new series are known to get very good buffs for that. So on a scale of one to ten. Yes. One being basically don't ever get it, it's a waste of money and right. ten being I'll donate blood to get this. 
I'm turning my organs to get this. How, how high would you rate this? See, I was gonna say 11, but I'm not, I'm not sure what I have to donate at that point. So I'm gonna go with uh, cash out some money because this isn't worth it. Don't, don't just give out your organs for no reason. Unless you can save a life, in which case, you know, consider it. Yeah. yeah. This has been it. This is the HP Omen 15 AMD Ryzen 7 1660 Ti and all that blah blah blah. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content, maybe in the next century. Thank you. Alright, this is all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to you as well.